boyfriend has been shot multiple times. She was screaming and hollering and I don't know anything else. This did turn into a hostage situation. This is clearly an act of terrorism. Although it's still early in the investigation, we know enough to say that this was an act of terror and an act of hate. In the early hours of Sunday morning, a gunman entered Orlando's largest gay club and opened fire, killing dozens of people. It was the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. You hear what sounds like fireworks or balloons popping and you assume it's part of the show. And then when you hear people start screaming. I, I want to say it lasted for about eight minutes. Like he wasn't stopping. He just kept on shooting and shooting and shooting and just walking around. The gunman, Omar Martin, was an American-born man whose family came from Afghanistan. As Muslims, as Americans, now is the time to speak out and make it clear that we will not give in to hate and we will not give in to fear. During the attack, Mateen reportedly made a 911 call pledging allegiance to Daesh. The group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Daesh has killed dozens of men it claims were gay in territory it controls in Iraq and Syria. But never abroad, until now. The shootings happened nearly a year to the day that the U.S. Supreme Court made same-sex marriage legal. And as cities across the United States host parades and festivals to celebrate gay and lesbian heritage. The father of the gunman says his son may have been motivated by anger towards the gay and lesbian community after seeing two men kissing. This massacre is therefore a further reminder of how easy it is for someone to get their hands on a weapon that lets them shoot people in a school or in a house of worship or a movie theater or in a nightclub. The president has repeatedly called for stricter gun regulations. But Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has accused Obama of weakness and has called for the barring of Muslim migrants. He feels vindicated by this latest attack, tweeting, I called it, although the gunman was American born. Meanwhile, Americans try and process a mass shooting, which has raised further questions on terrorism, hate crimes and gun control. Christine Pirovolakis, The Newsmakers.